guys my name is ankush gaurav and i welcome you to con2 series so far in the rest series of tutorials what overall i've showed i've showed how to create a basic rest api this one which allows a client to request for all student records which are present in this application and to develop this REST API, what all steps we followed? We simply included this REST API controller method in the student admission controller.java class and we were done. So now when I'm going to make a GET request using this REST API, this controller method is going to return all student records as a response. So in general, I can say that this REST API controller method does the job of retrieving all student records. So I can happily put this comment on top of this method. So when I'm going to make a GET request, I would get all student records as a response. And whatever I've just described in a very brief manner, I explain in detail till the last tutorial now let's proceed further and try to learn in this tutorial how to develop a little more complex rest api than this one all right let's start guys what if a client has got a very unique and a special requirement so what it wants is when a get request has to be made using this rest api then the application should return all student records. But as soon as it specifies the name of a specific student at the end of this REST API like this, in that case, this application should return the information about only that specific student whose name client has specified within the REST API itself. So question is, what all steps we need to follow in this Spring MVC application so as to develop such a complex REST API, you know, which allows client to specify a value within the REST API itself. Well, before I talk about what all steps we need to follow to develop this REST API, I ask you a question. To develop this REST API, what all steps we followed? We only included this REST API controller method in the student admission controller.java class, right? In the similar manner, guys, if you want to support one more API, you know, an API where a client can specify the name within the REST API itself, we are required to just include a new REST API controller method in the student admission controller.java class and we would be done with that. So let me do one thing. Let me include the REST API controller method which is going to support such a REST API and later on I will explain every single step, every single related concept to you in detail. So let's start. So here I am done with including this REST API controller method which supports this REST API. Now let's understand every bit of it step by step. Guys, this controller method gets student what job it performs. Let's try to understand first. It makes use of the value of student name variable to fetch the student's information from the database. So it's going to query using this student name to fetch the complete information about this student. And then it's going to make use of that information to create this student object and then return the same as a response. Now, what's the use of request mapping annotation with this pattern? Just try to understand that here, Client is going to specify John, sometimes Undertaker, sometimes Kali, sometimes this name, sometimes that name. So this is not a hard-coded string. Here, client is supposed to be specifying the value. And there is no way he is going to specify some hard-coded string. So here, 
the challenge is what i'm going to specify after students so that whenever a client is going to specify a value spring mvc framework is going to map the same to this request mapping annotation uh, you know method this controller method well the way to do that is using curly bases so here if you want client to specify the hard-coded string name then don't specify curly braces but if you want client to specify the value of name in that case specify curly braces so enclose name variable under curly braces so what does it mean it simply means whenever a client is going to make use of a rest api where after students some value is there spring mvc framework is simply going to check that whole rest api which client has used to make the request and if it's going to find some value after students pattern it's going to assume that that value is nothing but the value of name and in that case it's going to simply make a call to this rest api controller method because of this request mapping annotation and now question is how this value you know value of name is going to be assigned to student name well that is happening because of this path variable annotation so the way path variable annotation works is whatever you specify after path variable annotation you know spring mvc framework simply extract the value of that variable from the rest api which which a client has used to make the you know request so after extracting that value from that rest api it's going to assign the same to the variable which you have declared after path variable annotation so how this whole concept works when a client is going to make a request using this rest api spring mvc framework is going to map this rest api request to this rest api controller method because of this request mapping annotation and here this path variable annotation is going to simply extract the value of name this name means is going to extract the value john from this rest api and assign the same automatically to student name variable and thereafter this method what it does it simply goes to the database fetches the complete information about this student from the database creates this whole student object using that information and then return the same as a response so because of this response body annotation spring framework is not going to make use of any view technology instead it's going to return the return value of this function directly to the client so what's going to happen after we have included this controller method well let's check that out so here now i'm expecting when i'm going to make a get request i would get the information about only this student not all students information cool it's happening see so when i made a request uh, using the name you know john at the end of this rest api spring mvc framework made a call to this controller method which made use of path variable annotation to extract the value of uh, you know this name what i put over here and then accordingly this uh, body of controller method prepared the response and sent to me so guys in this tutorial we tried understanding how to allow a client to specify a value within the rest api itself and how to extract that value in the rest api controller method using path variable annotation and using this whole concept we learned how to allow a client to retrieve a single student record right so so far in this rest series we have understood how to allow a client to request for all students record and how to allow a client to retrieve only a single student record in the next tutorial we are going to talk about what exactly is the purpose of rest 
controller annotation as well as we're gonna look at an important rest api testing tool known with the name postman all right guys a big thank you for learning rest api concepts using spring mvc framework with me if you have any feedback or any constructive comment please put them below the video or simply email using this id if you really like this video please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel gone to series and i'm going to catch you in the next part of this tutorial